An arrest has been made in a violent afternoon carjacking at Costco that sent a woman to the hospital with serious injuries. As Erica Ferrando reports, at the time of the incident, the suspect was out on bond for another crime. 18-year-old Tyrese Harris is now in custody, accused of carjacking Kelly Ryan, a mother of two and real estate agent. New Orleans police say Ryan was pumping gas Tuesday afternoon at Costco when Harris carjacked her and dragged her by her own car along the ground, leading to severe injuries, including wounds to her head and fractures to her neck and hand. She was released from the hospital Wednesday and is home recovering. Harris was arrested Sunday, five days after the incident by the New Orleans police Department's violent offender warrant squad and U.S. Marshals. He faces a charge of principal to simple carjacking along with five other offenses. Now, at the time of the carjacking, Harris was out on a $12,500 bond for another crime, according to his records. He was arrested in August after being accused of stealing a man's car. He faces an aggravated flight from an officer charge. He was scheduled to be in court for that case February 22nd. Defense attorney Ken Barr Barnes is not connected to this case, but explains that bond was set to fit the crime. Bills are not set in a way to make sure that people stay in jail. It's set to make sure that that person comes back to court for their future court dates. So sometimes individuals are arrested. They have a bill set. They're able to make it. And sometimes the public does not like it. Harris also faced an additional armed robbery with a firearm charge for that incident. But records show District Attorney Jason Williams refused the charge, meaning his office determined there was not enough evidence to move forward. When it's uh, refused, it's because the District Attorney has decided that that crime does not fit. I spoke with the victim's husband, Jason Ryan, briefly on the phone. He said the news of this arrest has been emotional. He said they are still processing it, but they are thankful to the New Orleans Police Department for making the arrest. He called it progress. He is encouraging the community to attend a rally for peace happening Monday at 2 p.m. on the steps of City Hall. And as for Harris, he is waiting for his initial court appearance in the Costco carjacking case. For now, the court has placed a hold on his release. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Again, that rally organized by the victim's co-worker is tomorrow at 2 p.m. in front of City Hall. According to the victim's husband, several city council members will be there to speak. Council member J.P. Morrell issued a statement in response to the arrest, saying, quote, This is what good police work looks like in New Orleans. Veteran detectives working to identify the suspect and the violent offender warrant squad stepping in to locate and apprehend the suspect.